All right, everybody, welcome back. Uh, today, I have a couple of things I'd like to get, I'll try to get accomplished. Um, one is a seat riser. Uh, now, I'm not going to use these seats, but I am going to use the, the track and all that. So I'm going to just keep that dimension. And also, it doesn't really fit the car. I think what I want to do is build some bomber seats. And I'm just going to utilize the same track. <clears throat> and that way I can get the same width and I can pull some dimensions off of these seats and help build, help build a bomber seat that will fit me. Uh, fit me better um, so my idea is I drew this up and just gonna build a little simple riser I'm gonna build four of these two for driver two for passenger and have my, my holes on the top there for the riser or for the track to bolt to and uh, if I have room it's a, it's a short two and a half inch tall panel <clears throat> uh, so if I have room I may put my small dimple die in there and just I can bust a few holes in it just to kind of dress it up and give it some strength um, but it's gonna kind of have a taper to it um, and just to keep it from being just a simple little box bolt, uh, welded to the floor, I'll uh, give it a little something, something better than just a box. So uh, we'll get to it. Uh, I've already started with getting this metal stripped down, and uh, we'll get the camera turned around, and uh, we'll start following along the progress, and uh, we'll see what kind of a mess we can make. All right, so I've got it drawn out, kind of the base baseline i think the ends uh if if i cut them down the way i've got it kind of tapered like that together if i cut them down uh, i'll I barely have enough uh, of a gap on the end as far as uh the cut line i may have just keep them attached to the top there and i'm not gonna do that either i'm just gonna make these end caps separate i'll make this piece on the side and i'll take that and fold that over the edge and have the top and i'll just weld that one seam there and one seam there and the back side is going to be open uh, so that's why I wanted to give it that taper, so to give it a little strength. Um, so let's get on it, and uh, as I make my way forward, I'll just kind of show you what I'm thinking at least, so you can kind of sort of follow along. Follow along. So that's going to be inch and a half. Need to add a little bit of length to that because this is 14. Dang it, there's something in my shoe. So, need to add, need to add a little bit to that. All right, basic shape. I'll end up welding this hole up. Um, i got to hammer a little bit of a dent out of that. And flip it over and I'm going to strip the other side. I'll go ahead and break it once I get it stripped. And then uh, go from there. I'll make another one. I'm going to bend it up first and kind of set it in place and do my measurements and see if I got the height right. The height right. And then I'll make my piece here on the end and cap it.
nailed it. So I wanted this to be two inches from the bottom, so that's why I did that angle like that. Um, I don't know why. Let me look at it in the car real quick. All right, so that's it in the car, and I realize that uh, I'm right raising the seat up a little bit, but I think it'll be all right. That little bit, you can't really tell. And if I do need to adjust it, I'll just uh, do a little trimming on the bottom of this. Matter of fact, I think I want to trim. Yeah, I think I want to trim that down a little bit. I may cut a quarter inch off the bottom of that, and. Uh, It'll just make that seat riser look a little better, that angled and just dressed up and finished on the front and the back, I think. Maybe, uh, damn. Should have added a little bit more, dis more uh, that way that bolt's not directly on the front and the back of that riser. Yeah. Yeah. It'll be right there at the edge, but that's where them holes line up. I uh, should have made should have made that about uh, half an inch longer overall and quarter inch on each end. But I could technically fix that with that end cap. I could bend the ends of that. I am gonna quarter take a quarter inch off the bottom there. Let's do that. All right, next to the smallest dimple die will work just fine right here. Um, I'll bust uh, probably five holes. Just because of the length of it. it looks like a five holer um so find the middle and then i'll do uh two on the end there it'll help also lay it out all right i got my holes marked out and I probably should go ahead and make the end caps and uh, probably make three more before I start drilling into the other one, or drilling into this one. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, go ahead and make four more. And uh, yeah, get it going. So rinse and repeat. The brackets in the press here, and I got my dimple die. I went ahead and did want to test it out just so because uh, I wanted to. So, it doesn't quite fit with the uh, bin there. So I'm just going to have to kind of shove it in there. I mean, it's just, just a bit outside. So. All right. Get it in there. Cool, there you go. Dimple dies. So I got three more brackets to do, and it's all the same. So enjoy. And that'll work. So uh, all four will look like that when I'm done with it. All the way around, all back side and the front side. So see the dimple dies. Yeah, it'd just be a nice finished panel. And that's what I think at least. So, let me get, I uh, got that one marked. <clears throat> Do the back side on this one. I accidentally cut short. Uh, so, I'm going to add material to the end of that. And actually, I'm going to have to add material to both ends to keep my dimple dies lined up. I may not worry about it, and I'll just put that one on the inside of the seat next to the transmission tunnel. You'll never know the difference. Welded the extra piece on there to lengthen it, so it's the rest. It's the same length as the other guys. I'll go ahead and get my caps welded on and we'll get my welds cleaned up. Uh, we'll get them in the car and see how they work. And uh, hopefully I guessed right. <laughs>
because I kind of just guessed and went with it. But it should be fine. I'm not sure if I want to add a tab on the bottom and bolt these in too. I was thinking about welding these in, um, but I'm not sure if that's a good idea or not. I don't know. Um, might make it a little more difficult to put whatever carpet goes in the car because it's custom floor. So I'm going to have to figure that out too. So I may end up bolting these in also. Maybe put a little, put a little bridge in here and bridge the front and back with a plate. And then that'll be my holes for the, for the seat uh, to bolt down. So, but uh, it doesn't change what I'm doing here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, weld these caps on and get them all finished up. And then we'll decide if I want to add a piece of, piece of steel to that. And we'll go from there. Yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and do a triangle piece here on every four. four. So i got to make eight more pieces, and that way I can use that to bolt those to the floor. And it'll just be a little more uh, convenient, I guess. And if I want to change it later, maybe change the seats, I can pull those out and make new ones. So we'll get on that, and uh, same thing, cut, weld, grind. Uh, so I'll get back to it when I get done with that. All right, so I went ahead and marked up. Uh, these were my temporary hole, uh, temporary brackets to hold the seat in place. Uh, I marked the whole uh, location where the bracket landed on the seat, and I'm just going to knock those off and position my new brackets in place. And uh, I decided, like I said, to go ahead and bolt them in. So welded some little tabs on the edge there to triangulate that end, and I'll just run some bolts through the floor, bolts through the seat, and that way, if I want to change it in the in the future or take it out to put carpet or whatever coating on this floor. I can do that. So let's get over there and we'll get them knocked out. So I got the seat flipped up here, and I'm going to try and uh, kind of just get these risers. Um, I made them just exactly where I don't really have to do a lot of guessing as far as where they belong. So I'm going to pull these bolts out of here. And I've got two separate holes. This one's a little oblong, so <clears throat> I'm probably going to do is choose this inner hole just because it gives me a little more meat. And if this hole is, is pretty close to the end. And I just feel like I need to bring it in a little bit further. I don't know why. I just do. So I'll just put some temporary quarter 20s in there. And uh, can't get that one out. Can't get that one out either. 
So I need a magnet and we'll get that out of there. And I need two more bolts. Let's see if I can find a magnet around this joint. <laughs> Stick to everything except for the bolt. There you go. I think the other one was down in here too. Right, let me try to see if I... Uh, maybe not. So we we'll get a wrench and I need another bolt. When I get uh, everything said and done and finalized, then I'll go back and uh, put better bolts in it or different bolts, what have you. It's got a little slag or something on it. Just not wanting to throw it off. And then this seat is a temporary seat. Like I said, I, I want to build some sort of a bomber type seat. I've been watching some channels that uh, where they've shown them how to do it. And uh, there's several different variations that I found. And I just haven't nailed down one that I like. Um, yeah, I'll just go to that back hole. Like it. And uh, give a get a sheet of aluminum and I'll, I'll try to make one out of it but until I get that I'm just going to use these seats as a mock-up and uh, get around and they may last until I go to test drive it get it on close to final before I get the seats it's not really a priority to spend the money on a sheet of aluminum and the time to do it right this second uh, neither of these seat risers but i want to get the seat in place and finalize the steering column and stuff of that nature pedals if they need to be tweaked and adjusted now's the time to do that <clears throat> and then i'll finalize all that and the dash and the console and all that kind of works together and ties together so all this needs to be in place so i can sit in there and kind of fit myself in and make sure everything's where i want it and then I will start to you do final body work stuff of that nature. So I'm glad, I like how I put that on the inside there so I can't drill it. So let me transfer that to the top. All right, let's try to bolt these in place and uh, see what we come up with here. Hello. I'll see if I can adjust the slide forward. right on the middle setting
There we go. All right, we'll sit it in the car and I'll uh, mark the holes in the floor and we'll see what we come up with. All right, so I got the seat mounted. Um, it's nice and secure. It landed perfectly where I have uh, some supports welded underneath the floor. There are two cross braces that go the length of the floor to the two uh, cross members that I've got under there. Just a little extra strength for the driver's compartment and passenger compartment. I got them on there too. And uh, I've got them on that side as well. And that way it'll give strength here and give something for this seat to tie to. And you know, in the event of a crash, God forbid, it doesn't yank the bolts right out of the floor. It's, it's got some extra support and some strength. So uh, other than that, it lines up great. I've got enough room to clear my transmission tunnel here. I can pull the seat forward enough and be comfortable driving and get to the pedals and the shifter and you know all that good stuff. So uh, I'm pretty happy with that. And I've got to put the passenger side in. Uh, probably won't do that today just because it's just rinse and repeat. I'll do that off camera when I'm... Uh, when I'm uh, off camera and uh, yeah um, I, I want to start kind of getting this instrument cluster started just the back panel uh, I tried to do it one time and I messed the panel up and got it pretty bad warped just from shaping it just over shaping it and I don't know what I'm doing so you know I'm just taking a wild guess at it I think I may make the new one out of three pieces maybe maybe four uh, what I want to do is kind of go back as far as I can and I've got the brake booster right there. So I've got, you know, uh, about about two inches, I guess, maybe, that I can go back. And that will allow me to pull my gauges forward and have a 3D look that I'm looking for. Uh, like a, It looks like a floating pod. I was watching Classic Car Studio, and they built that uh, 69, 70 Dodge Charger recently that won a bunch of awards. And they did the similar treatment that I wanted to do. I've had it in mind for a while, so I'm not directly copying them, but I got a lot of inspiration from the way they built it because they, they videoed how they built the thing, and uh, I really uh, really learned a lot from that. So, um, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to draw it back and uh, go from there, make a pocket, a recessed pocket. And then uh, I'm looking at gauges. I've got it narrowed down to a few sets. Uh, they're very expensive, but... You know, if any of those companies, uh, you know, Dakota Digital, if you see this video, maybe you want to lend a poor guy a hand, uh, that'd be nice. Or uh, Autometer, any of those guys. Um, you got uh, Holly. Holly's out there. They're, they're watching social media. If you're interested in, in, in supporting a poor poor guy, it uh, should be nice. But now, jokes aside, I, I, I am deciding on uh, something here and soon. Cause I've got to get moving on it so I can get it wired up and uh, move forward with that. And then, uh, yeah, we'll just keep on trucking, keep moving forward with what we got. All right. So, uh, I'm going to end this week's video here and, uh, got a lot of progress made. We got the whole front of the car done as far as, uh, the shape, the initial shape. Of course, it's got to be dialed in, um, and, and finished, but, uh, pretty, pretty much overall, it's the, it's the final product as far as what, uh, what I'd like to see on it. Um, and got the seat mounted, so I got the also got the wheel cut up and uh, done. Uh, I need to get another one. Still searching for another wheel. I, uh, this is an early 2000s Dodge wheel that I cut up and banded. Uh, I've got the other band ready to go. I just need to find the wheel and then fill it. And also, I'm gonna I still got to do some body work on the wheel, uh, which is kind of weird to say, but yeah, I'm gonna smooth it up and, and and make it nice and dress the welds and all that. So I'll do that off camera. It's just a bunch of grinding. Um, but like I said, overall, the front end of the car, which is what I was aiming for this week, 